Well, it's been an eventful morning. We were getting ready to go to Goodwill yesterday. A massive gust of wind rolled in, caught the door, pulled okay? it, and slammed it open. Well, this happened. <laughs> you can see it really coming apart. Like those screws were barely in there. We're here now, Home Depot. This side seems fine, but I'm still gonna strengthen it. What I plan on doing is I'm taking a drill bit, tapping some new holes, and then getting some more support screws down the length of it. And I'm gonna do that on all four corners. So all I have to do is take the door off of its hinge and then really reinforce this side since it's the hinge side. If I get in here though, and the wood is overly rotted, I'm gonna have to buy some, some lumber in there and have them pre-cut it, fab it, and pop the fiberglass inserts back in. Got my handy dandy drill set and we'll get started here. Check this out. I want to see it. Let's go. Yo! Welcome back to another episode of Life with Brooke and Curry. This is an unfortunate event. We expected hiccups. When you live on the road full time, something's always going to go wrong. Yeah. Brooke, do you care to slide out the way? Bye. We're meant to be in the shop. Bye. Bye. Actually, pulled almost entirely off of the hinge side. So that was preventing our door from opening and closing. It's shaped at the door this way, which caused it to smash into the strike plug. We had to pull over at a Home Depot because there was a creepy guy watching us at Walmart and we're just in a chill spot. We're gonna take this door apart and then fix mostly this side, probably strengthen the whole door around the entirety of the frame. Then we're gonna get back on the road to some cool stuff. Seen that. Brooke, at this point in time, you might want to put a, a cover over the door. I gotta take the door off. It's gonna get chilly. <laughs> okay, that screen door is actually in the way, but I don't have all the equipment here that I would like to have. I mean, the bottom is completely ripped off. Look, look at that. Look how short that little screw is. Oh my goodness. What a pump. Screw you, RV manufacturers. I so hate that I have to do this. But all in good fun because we get the opportunity to do this blessed to do this blessed to do this uh yeah you know i ain't coming out here yeah. i'll hold the door while i get to take it off <laughs> so we got this uh the hinge side frame off the wood actually looks very good for 37 years old a major part of the problem though is because these screws are literally like three quarter inch long they're a joke actually that's the wrong screw <laughs> this is the right screw, but still three quarter inch long. Still a joke. So what I'm gonna do is increase the length, maybe a quarter inch longer, get a tube of Gorilla adhesive, and line the entire interior. Tap new holes into mid points between the hinges. I don't know if it's necessary all the way around, but what I am gonna do is just add additional screws through the, the remainder of the perimeter. So I'm gonna run into Home Depot real quick. See you in a bit. Grab the Loctite Ultimate. It's usually a pretty good under pack of number eight one inch screws, quarter inch longer than the other screws. Well, there goes the receipt. And got Brooks and Captain. I'm trying to make this quick because it's cold. No sun here, it's windy. Nobody wants to be here that long. So let's get it. Alright. Got our handy dandy dollar caulking gun from the good blue. Pop in your mouth. Grab you a knife. the length of it and we're gonna lay that down on here probably pop us a bead of this out on the curb over here so we can dip all of our screws in it that way when we sink them they will adhere to the wood fibers interiorly you need me to hold anyone i can use it yeah can i be in the center yeah now i've got a layer along both edges so that should create a nice seal i had to get my lovely assist up over here to Hello. to help you to help slide this in there Keep that. No, not really, dude. Toyota Sunland Express. Vegas. Uh, 13 to 15. It's all right for how old it is. Yep. Uh, 85. You work yourself? Yeah, try to. So, I don't know if 
it's gonna work or not. But I did a lot of precautions to the hinge side. I also added several self-tapping screws to each of the remaining sides to increase the strength. Now, I've got my lovely assistant Brooke out here to see if we can throw it back up on the hinges. Let's try. Hopefully she'll show up. You have what you need. It actually opens and shuts better than it ever has. Oh. Now it just shuts easy. Wow. Wow. Much sturdier. Can you go cut the shop, bro? Yeah. yeah, we can go. Oh, you're so dirty. Oh, I am. <laughs> Good job, babe. How do you? Just trying to kiss you. Alright, door's fixed. Actually better than it ever was. Catch you in a bit. Peace! Thank you.